Scott here in the Cool Toy Studio. Uh, we got a new toy today, something that's really cool for keeping, uh, well, let's see, the dialogue. If I had a teleprompter, I wouldn't have missed that. So we got a couple of teleprompters by a company called Great Video Maker, but they got a little bit of a problem. So let's open one up and uh, take a quick look at what the problem is. The camera that we're gonna go ahead and use for the test is this one, it's the Canon XF100. It's a very inexpensive, high definition, uh, 1080p, you know, television studio, what they call an ENG camera, but it works great for what we do here at Cool Toys. And uh, with a teleprompter, it should be even better. So we're gonna stick that on there and see what happens. But this is a pretty standard, you know, higher end video camera that you can get used on eBay for under 500 bucks. And here's our box from Great Video Maker. We're gonna open it up and see what's inside. So right on top, we've got a little, um, just a shield for the teleprompter. And we pop it open. And we've got another shield for the bottom, which is kind of nice. And here we have the problem that we have found. This is the bag that you'll notice is very even. So the teleprompter, when it's set up, sits at a 45 degree angle. We're gonna set it up like this off the lens. So you notice the bag has to be short on the bottom and taller on the top, and that bag does not do that, but I'll show that to you here. So putting this together is pretty simple. There's these two screws here, and they're gonna go right in there into that uh, angled hole on the slide itself. And this is gonna be our new bracket that holds the camera, the light, and the teleprompter. So now here's the quality certificate. So the camera slider, um, it has a pass from somebody, whoever this person is, probably never used this product and that's the problem. So there you can see the angle of the teleprompter and I'll set it down here just like this. Now the camera is gonna be back like this, but notice that big bunch at the bottom because it should be shorter and it isn't. So that's what we're gonna see the problem is um, once we get it on the camera. Now you can see the problem is this section of the bag needs to be much shorter. You can see how loose it is. Obviously the angle, it's a longer distance from the bottom, basic geometry. So come around to the other side, let's see what the camera sees. And you can see, look as I move the bag up and down. And as I pull it, there's almost no way to get it completely out of the picture. So there's no way to remove that bag from the view because it's improperly cut. So there you have it guys, the great video maker teleprompter. 90% product, 90% of the way there, half the price of other teleprompters. But if you can't make the bag yourself, you don't know how to sew it, it just doesn't cut it now, does it? Um, I really wish I could tell you it's a great product. We are gonna use it here. We will sew our own bag. We will correct it. Not an easy task though, because it is already glued to the teleprompter itself. So it's gonna take some hand stitching, but we've got two of them. We're gonna make them work and uh, hopefully make the show a little better. So there's a little behind the scenes look at Cool Toys TV, some of the toys that we use here in the studio and some of the stuff that we do. Meanwhile, go out there, find some cool toys, send them to us if you think you got one. We'd love to see it on the show. Till next time, have a great time. Go out and have some fun with your cool toys.